हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योर ओन चैनल फूड टेक नेटवर्क माय नेम इज़ हनु शर्मा फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन अ फ्रेश सीरीज ऑन फूड प्रोसेसिंग इन दिस सीरीज वील टेक अप डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फूड कैटेगरीज एंड इन डिटेल डिस्कस द एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन प्रोसेसिंग एंड द इंडस्ट्रियल एंड ओवरऑल स्कोप ऑफ दोज प्रोडक्ट्स सो द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी ऑफ फूड्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज फ्रूट्स In this lecture, we'll be talking about the processing of fruits. That is the introduction and classification. So let us begin with it. So when we talk about fruits, so fruit, botanically, fruit is a product of fertilization of angiosperms. We know that the flower-bearing plants are known as angiosperms in scientific terms. Angiosperms consist of ripened ovary of flower, including seeds. So when this ovary, which is the female part of the flower, ripens up it forms the fruits and the ovules present inside this ovary develop to form seeds important constituent of a balanced diet rich source of carbohydrates minerals and vitamins are the common attributes which fruits possess the study of fruit and fruit bearing plant is known as pom pomology when we try to classify the fruits we get three basic classes simple fruits aggregate fruits and composite fruits let us see what all they are simple fruits are the one which develop from monocarpellary ovary or multicarpellary syncarpous ovary so these two terms may sound a little complicated to you but when we talk about monocarpellary so monocarpellary means a flower which contains only one female uh, organ that is the pistil so one female organ will be at just one a uh, term that is monocarpellary on the other hand when we talk about multicarpellary so in this case the flower bears multiple female part and these female parts are fused together right and that is what we call multicarpellary syncarpous ovary multi means multiple female parts and they are fused together that's why syncarpous so it has further classification the first one is for dry fruits so in this case pericarp which is the outer wall of fruits so after fully maturing the fruit wall can be divided into three portion epicarp that is the outer portion mesocarp that is the middle portion and endocarp that is just uh, above the seed like the innermost portion so in case of dry fruits this pericarp that is the fruit wall remains dry and undifferentiated into these three layers which i just mentioned uh it includes further dehiscent or capsular fruits in the dehiscent or achenial fruits or schizocarpic or splitting fruits whereas the succulent fruits are the ones in which pericarp that is the fruit wall is fleshy or fibrous it remains well distinguishable into three layers these include drupe berry pepo hesperidium blossta epicarpa and pom so now let us discuss each of them one by one the category of the hisen fruits uh, which is in the dry fruits category includes the following sub classes legumes or pods so legumes are the fruits developed from monocarpellary superior ovary with marginal presentation so this uh, monocarpellary as i said is the unique characteristic of the simple fruits including the dry fruits superior ovary means the ovary is positioned at an upper edge in the flower structure and marginal placentation means placenta is the, the tissue that you know holds on to the seeds present in the fruit so the marginal presentation is a sort of arrangement in which the seeds are you know collected in the fruit ovary is unilocular with many ovules unilocular means one chamber and multiple ovules means multiple seeds the fruits dehisces by both sutures so sutures are the ridges or the region through which the fruit is uh, you know cutted or through which the seeds come out uh, the examples are pea gram and red gram next is the follicle so fruits develop from superior and unilocular ovary usually found in pairs or group and the fruit dehisces is by one suture examples are larkspur calotropis michelia and vinca The third category is silica. Fruits develop from bicarpellary syncarpous superior ovary with parietal placentation. 
ovary remains unilocular in the beginning but sometimes bilocular due to the formation of a false septum false septum means a for a, a unnecessary wall which is formed which divides the fruit into two chambers each locule has got many seeds on maturity fruit dehisces from below to upward now the characteristics uh, characteristic features are included in the cruciferaceae family like mustard radish turnip etc siliqua so the siliqua is simple to silica but its width and length are equal and it includes candy tuft and shepherd's purse the capsule includes the fruits which are developed from multicarpillary syncarpus superior ovary with several locules and axile presentation according to mode of dehiscence or rupturing of the fruit the fruits are further classified as porous dehiscence that is that that includes poppy then we have loculicidal dehiscence like cotton and okra then we have septicidal dehiscence that is aristolochia then we have septifragile dehiscence that is datura then we have transverse dehiscence that includes celosia now let us study about indehiscent or archenial fruits in this case the pericarp does not rupture and the seeds remain enclosed within it so the previous category included the fruits which ruptures ultimately the seeds come out but in case of non rupturing one we have the uh, the we have the categories like achene or achene so in this case the fruits develop from monocarpillary superior ovary the ovary remains unilocular that is single chambered and single seeded the pericarp does not fuse with seed coat and examples include clematis snarevelia etc in case of the second category that is caryopsis fruits develop from monocarpillary superior ovary and it remains unilocular and single seeded the pericarp remains fused with testa that is the outer covering of the seed characteristic to uh, this class is the family poaceae so the poaceae family includes common crops like wheat rice maize these are very important from the agriculture and food technology point of view then we have kipsella fruits develop from bicarpillary syncarpus inferior ovary with basal presentation so we know bi means two syncarpus means they are fused inferior means it is it, uh, it is positioned at the lower level and basal presentation is a type of presentation fruits are unilocular and single seeded persistent hairy calyx are found at the apex of fruits characteristic family is compositi like terexetsum and cosmos now the next category includes the nuts so nuts are the fruits developed from unilocular syncarpus multicarpillary superior ovary these are single seeded fruits pericarp becomes hard and stony so we already know nuts like dry fruits uh, which includes walnut cashew hazelnut fox nut etc these are uh, having a harder outer covering right and uh, lychee for instance of normal fruit water chestnut what we call uh, singhada in hindi so it is also in the category of nut samara is the next category it includes the fruits developed from bicarpillary syncarpus superior ovary it is single seeded the pericarp becomes flat like wings and the example includes chilbil or holoptheria the next category of fruits is schizocarpic or splitting fruits so the fruits are dry and multi seeded and after ripening they are divided into one seeded segments or mericarps mericarps do not rupture further so by the definition you must know that it is a composite kind of fruit which after ripening or proper maturation you know fragments into different portions which are not further fragmented so it includes uh, these categories lomentum in this case fruits develop from monocarpillary unilocular superior ovary it is a modification of legume by sutural fruits which are divided into one seed for example groundnuts mimosa tamarindus what we normally use as uh, adjuncts and then we use for oil seeds etc then we have cremocarp 
so fruits develop from bicarpellary syncarpous inferior ovary on maturation these divide along with carpophore into two mericarps uh, and each of them is single seeded the characteristic family is umbelliferae like coriander carrot fennel etc the next category of schizocarpic or splitting fruits is regma so the fruits develop from tricarpellary syncarpous multilocular superior ovary on maturation after splitting these divide into many parts uh, or what we call in, in the form of number of carpels each part is known as coccus and has a seed examples include castor and ricinus or or what we call ricinus and geranium so this was about the dry fruit category fleshy fruits or succulent fruits so in these fruits the pericarp or the fruit ball is well distinguished into three layers that is epicarp the upper layer mesocarp the middle layer and endocarp the inner layer now this mesocarp or the middle layer can be fleshy or fibrous and if we talk about these fruits they can be classified into these types so the first one is droop so fruits develop from mono or multicarpellary syncarpous superior ovary are known as droops these are single seeded rarely more uh, number of seeds are found and the pericarp comprises of three layers which we just discussed the epicarp forms the skin or the peel of the fruit the mesocarp is the flesh or the pulp of the fruit and the endocarp is mostly hard or stony so the most prominent example of this fruit is mango or mangifera indica then we have coconut peach walnut cherry almond etc the next category includes berry so the fruits develop from mono or multicarpellary syncarpous superior or inferior ovary with axil or parietal placentation is known as are known as berries and the epicarp forms the rind of the fruit rind is the outer delicate you know peel kind of structure mesocarp becomes fleshy and endocarp remain thin papery sort of examples are tomato brinjal guava date papaya sapota or chiku recanut etc the third category is of pepo so fruits develop from tricarpellary syncarpous unilocular inferior ovary with parietal presentation are known as pepo fruits are full of soul and placenta and have many seeds epicarp makes the hard rind the tough leathery rind mesocarp and endocarp are fleshy characteristic family are cucurbitaceae like bottle gourd cucumber muskmelon etc the next category is of hesperidium fruits develop from multicarpellary syncarpous multilocular superior ovary with axil placentation epicarp is firm leathery and has several oil glands mesocarp is in the form of white fibrous part fused with epicarp membranous endocarps project inward forming distinct chambers many juicy unilocular hairs are found on the inner side of endocarp and the examples of this category include like orange tangerine lemon mosambi etc the next class includes bellosta so fruits develop from multicarpellary syncarpous multilocular superior ovary it has many seeds the epicarp is rough and leathery mesocarp is papery and thin and the endocarp is hard and is and it forms chambers to enclose seeds irregularly the fruit has persistent calyx calyx is uh, what we call sepals in normal terms testa or the seed coat is red and fleshy whereas tegmen which is the inner seed coat becomes hard so you must have understood we are talking about pomegranate the next category is amphisarca so the fruit develops from multicarpellary syncarpous multichambered superior ovary epicarp is hard and tough mesocarp and endocarp are fleshy on which are scattered numerous seeds for example wood apple or it's actually marmalos wood apple we must know it is a very relished uh, fruit and uh, it is processed to form drinks and all 
those things in summer the next category includes poem so the fruit develops from bi or polycarpellary syncarpous inferior ovary the thalamus or the receptacle through which the fruit the fruit or the flower initially were connected to the stem are fleshy and swollen and surrounds the fruit so it is a false fruit so actually this thalamus or receptacle develops into fruit and not the ovary so the pericarp is thin and papery fleshy swollen thalamus forms the edible part examples include apple and pear now let us talk about aggregate fruits groups of fruitlets develop from multicarpellary apocarpous ovary of a single flower is known as aggregate fruit this type of aggregate fruit are also known as ethereum which is the term used to uh, designate aggregation of fruits now when we talk about different types then each free carpel develops into a fruitlet which is known as follicle now many such individual follicle make it aereo and these are connected together linked together to form a composite aggregate fruit examples are calotropis or catharanthus and michelia now another category is ethereo or aggregation of achenes so it is an aggregate of achenes fruitlets developed from single flower like rose strawberry etc then we have aggregation of berries so it is an aggregate fruit it is an aggregate fruitlet of berries and it is developed from single flower like custard apple or what we call sitafal in hindi and then we have aggregation of groups which is seen in raspberry now we'll study about composite fruits so it is very you must wonder why are we studying so much about fruit because while processing or while doing research work it becomes very important to trace their botanical features which makes our work or processing very easy so the composite fruits develop from complete inflorescence now inflorescence can be termed as a complete flower bunch and uh, these are also known as infructescence so there are different types of composite fruits the first one is cyconus so fruits develop from hypanthodium inflorescence so hypanthodium is a type of floral inflorescence the receptacle becomes fleshy and hollow cup shaped structure is formed with a narrow apical opening unisexual flowers are found on its inner surface male flowers towards upper side and females towards lower side the fruit is chine type fleshy receptacles form the edible part example is fig or what we call anjir in hindi then we have sorosis this type of fruit develops from spike spadix or catkin inflorescence as in jackfruit mulberry and pineapple the fruits are so compactly set that entire inflorescence appear as one fruit so the next time you see the structure of pineapple you must understand that this is not formed from a single flower it is an aggregation of different flowers developed into fruits in jackfruit stigma fuses with each other to make rough and spiny rinds that is what you see in its outer coating bracts perianth and seeds become edible in jackfruits in mulberry perianth present around the dry chenies is edible part so this was all about fruits and their classification i hope you liked both these videos now we'll be turning towards proper processing of fruits